Hello everybody, it's me RJ here again with another video for you guys. Today we're going to be changing out the carburetor and the air filter for the Craftsman M230 163cc push lawn mower. Now before we get started, uh, make sure you have a set of uh, vice grips, small or big, doesn't matter, a pair of pliers, you need a, a socket wrench, and you're going to need either a 516th socket and a 932nd socket or a seven millimeter and a eight millimeter possibly a flathead screwdriver always good to have handy and then you're going to need a star bit so today we're going to be changing out the uh, air filter and the carburetor mainly the carburetor but the kit that, that uh, was purchased came with the air filter also the main problem that we're having with this push lawn mower is it'll only run for a few seconds and then it'll die so if you're having an issue like that where you start your lawnmower and then you push it for a little bit and it dies or it dies immediately before you even get a chance to push it, 90% of the time it's going to be the carburetor. And don't be afraid to tackle this job. It's pretty easy as long as you got the tools provided and you follow my video. And I'm going to show you what exactly went wrong with the carburetor that caused the issue just in case you might want to know. Uh, but regardless, it needs to be replaced because the problem that went bad can't be fixed uh, with the original. So, let's get into it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get our star bit. We're going to take out this screw and this screw. So go ahead and undo this screw and this screw. Now we're going to grab this red cap and we're going to kind of fight with this thing to get this uh, latch out. It's got a little a little plastic latch that hooks in behind to keep this from being ripped off. So I'm gonna fight with that and then once I get that off, we'll go to the next step. All right, now what we're looking at right here, right next to the gas tank is the air filter cover. So we're gonna take the air filter cover off there's a little tab up here and you just pull it it's gonna fall right off and then we're gonna take this old nasty dirty air filter out and we're gonna discard it okay next step you're gonna get your socket wrench you're gonna either get your 5 16 or your 8 millimeter we're gonna take out this bolt and this bolt there's two black ones so let's get those out of the way All right, now that we got those two out of the way, the next step is these two silver bolts here. We're gonna use our 932nds or the seven millimeter socket. And I think I forgot to tell you, get an extension. Uh, forgive me for that, but it makes it a lot easier to have an extension on this. Now that we have all four of these screws out, just grab this cover and you can pull it off. There's a little hose in the back, but it'll come right off just remove it there's the hose there's where the hose fits to i'll show you how to install that once we put it back together and just set this aside with the screws or the bolts in it so we don't lose them the next step is this gas hose right here it goes from the carburetor to the tank if you have gas in your gas tank you're going to want to do exactly what i do so get your vice grips if you don't have gas in here and it's empty don't worry about it get your vice grips and set them to where they'll have just a little bit of a gap here like this because you're going to pinch off your hose that way no gas flows out and you don't lose gas while while you're working on the carburetor so go ahead and pinch that off like that and then we're going to move to the next step removing this carburetor out of here and putting the new one back in in the middle of the process i'll show you what went wrong with this one Okay, go ahead and get your pliers ready. The next step is to remove this hose clamp on the gas line that's right next to the carburetor, right here. Get your pliers, squeeze that hose clamp. It's a little tight because you got your vice grips in the way, but it's manageable. Squeeze that hose clamp and just bring it back towards your vice grips so it's out of the way and leave it on there. This will allow you to remove that gas line from the carburetor. 
All right, we're looking down on top of the carburetor. This is going to be the most difficult part for most people and the most aggravating. You're going to have to remove this metal rod here and this metal rod here plus your gas hose. I'm going to try to show you how to do this the best way that I know how. It's just a little tricky. Don't worry about that spring. That spring stays on. Don't even bother removing it. We're going to get this out of the way, this out of the way, and the gas hose. First, we're going to pull the gas hose off. So let's get to that. So at this point, we should be able to take the entire carburetor and pull it out uh, a little bit. Okay? You don't want to pull it out too far, but pull it out to where you can get your hand on the gas hose. Pull the carburetor and the gas hose apart. You might have a little bit of gas come out. If you do, don't worry about it. The vice grip should take care of the rest. See, I'm not losing any at all. So now that the carburetor is hanging out, let me back you up a little bit. Now that the carburetor is hanging out and the gas hose is off, we're going to maneuver this thing so we can get those rods out. So we're in the front of the lawnmower. We want to grab this carburetor. We we'll tip it up. Don't worry about bending these. Tip it up like this, and you can work with this one and pull it right out. And it will just sit here to the side. Don't worry about it. Once you get that one out, you're going to put the carburetor back down. Let it slide down. If you can see right there where it connects right here. So you're going to let the carburetor sit down. Then you're going to turn it towards you. And you're going to get gas that pours out of it. Don't worry about it. Just let it pour. And then pull that off. That's the entire carburetor removal. This is going to go in the trash. We're going to put the new one on. But first I'll show you what happened to this one. So in order to get this carburetor apart, you turn it upside down. You use your 9 30 seconds or 7 millimeter, um, I believe, and take this, take these bolts out. I'm going to get those out real quick. Once you have those out, you can take a flathead screwdriver and you can fit it right here and push up right here in this groove where you put the where the bolt goes in and you can pry up and get it in there and you can work this out work with it until it starts to open up and then you can just pop it open like this you're gonna get more gas to come out now what happened to this carburetor is right here where you pull this pin out okay this needle right here whoops this little needle right here has a rubber tip on it see that that rubber tip that rubber tip keeps falling off of this needle and it's getting lodged down inside this hole and it prevents gas from coming in there all the way so it'll fill this up slowly you'll start the lawnmower you'll run this gas out and it'll shut off that is what's causing this carburetor to malfunction I've put this little rubber piece back on but it keeps falling off periodically because it's wore out so that's the purpose of buying the new carburetor I have a, another video on how to clean these carburetors if you guys want to see that I'll put it in the description or up in the video somewhere at, at the end but let's get to replacing the, the uh, carburetor we spent too much time already so get your carburetor kit you can get these off Amazon you just look up the model number of your carburetor and it costs about 30 bucks and I got new gas hoses filter inline filter for the gas and the new carburetor all i'm going to be doing is replacing the carburetor and the air filter because the gas line the gas hose is is still in good shape but i will save that for later and just in case that one goes bad okay one more thing before you put your new carburetor on i forgot to tell you guys there's a should be a rubber o-ring and a white uh, plastic ring on this tube back here take those off because your brand new kit's going to come with new ones and if they didn't come off when you pulled your carburetor out remove them if they did then you don't have anything to worry about okay get your new carburetor kit it's going to come with two gaskets you're not going to need the circular one unless this on yours is circular uh, there already is a plastic and a rubber o-ring in here remember the ones we took off from back here that's what those are they're already installed in the new kit 
the one you're going to need for this type is this gasket and it's just going to go in it can only go in one way uh, and you're going to fit it in here just like this and just press it down until it sits in there right all right i'm back at the front of the lawnmower we're going to do the uh, aggravating part again you want to take this rod that's coming out of the front to the side like this and it goes in this top one that's right above the spring okay poke it in sideways like this and then turn your carburetor down and it's in now we're going to get the other one and we're going to turn the carburetor again and this one's going to be a little hard to fight with but you can get it in there turn it in pop it in turn the carburetor back down like i'm doing in the video and leave it right here so we're going to go back to the other side and put the gas line on okay now that we have all our linkage up here correct we're going to take the gas hose and the carburetor bring it out towards us grab the gas hose heat it up with the nipple right here off the carburetor and push them together all the way go ahead and get your pliers since we're already here grab the hose clamp and bring it back to its original position where you took it off of then we're going to take the carburetor and slowly push it back till it fits on that tube back there or the hose whatever you want to call it that we took the o-rings off of make sure you push it back it should pop right back in and it should sit nice and secure and not wobble now we're going to go to the next step we're almost there guys okay at this point we can go ahead and remove our vice grips just take them off and that's going to let the carburetor fill up with gas while we're doing the rest of what we need to do so you want to get your air filter cover that we took off there is a part right here that needs to go into this hose make sure that is connected before you put the screws in while everything is off it's pretty easy to see uh, I'll move to the other side so I can show you what I'm doing okay here's your little hose that you need to have connected to the air filter right here just bring it in make sure it's connected because it doesn't fit on there tight it, it can slip off unnoticed and then when you try to start your lawnmower up you won't get started so set this in here where it sits there's two uh, little nubs on both sides that'll hold it in place so you can get back around and get your screws in okay we're gonna go with the two silver screws they go closest down here we're gonna put these in remember that was the uh, 9 30 seconds or the 7 millimeter now get your 5 16 or your 8 millimeter socket and get the two black bolts your screws whatever you want to call them we're going to put them in here next step Get your brand new air filter if you have one if it came with the kit or get your old one and put it back in it doesn't matter if it goes in this way or this way both those holes will match up put it in get your cover these two tabs down here are going to slide in down here like this then you're going to fold it up snap it back in place and we're going to get the cover, slide it back down, put the screws in, and we're done. Last and final thing to do, grab the, grab the cover, slide it back down. Make sure you set it down in place, and this tab goes down in here. Push it forward a little bit, get your two screws, put them in. My screws are just sitting in the hole, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten those down real quick. Okay, we got that part back on we got the cover on and the tab is is connected here so it's not going to lift up on us got the two screws in we should be ready to rock and roll i'm going to pull it out in the yard and see if it starts
that is how you replace the carburetor and the air filter for the Craftsman M230 163cc. We fixed the problem and this lawnmower is going to be running good for a long time. If you guys liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And check out my other video on how to clean a carburetor exactly like this one. I'll post it somewhere up here. If not, I'll try to post the link in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.